This is one of the most notorious dump sites for e-waste in the world. We produce up to 50 million tons of e-waste every single year, and our discarded appliances increasingly end up in places like this dump site in Africa. I first came here three years ago to film the youngsters who work in the toxic smoke while risking serious health problems such as cancer and brain damage. Since then, the situation has worsened dramatically. The amount of e-waste coming into Africa has almost doubled. And also in Europe, South America and Asia, the discarded symbols of our modern lifestyle are corroding landscapes and poisoning the soil, water and air. It's a crime. I mean, this is a crime of mammoth proportions. E-waste trafficking is huge and said to be bigger than the drugs trade. Even though the export of e-waste has been banned for more than 30 years, thousands of e-waste containers cross the oceans every year. And the toxic tide is set to rise even further because in spite of the crisis, the sale of electronics is booming and emerging markets are coming on board. All contribute to a growing mountain of e-waste to which we can no longer turn a blind eye. It's like a doctor looking at a patient who's bleeding profusely and saying, oh, it's not so bad. When I hear people like that, I say, just go. Just take a plane and go look for yourself and tell me that's not a problem. All over the world, law enforcement, environmental activists, customs officials, and undercover investigators are fighting to stop the traffickers. For this type of people, the future does not count. What counts is the benefit immediate. The battle is difficult to win because of the huge profits to be made and the corruption involved. C'est tout un système de montage avec des sociétés écrans. Là, on peut parler de système mafieux. Can we stop the toxic tide before it is too late?